the sad thing in some ways though is that the average person does not take advantage of the extraordinary power they have within their mind and uh it has to do unfortunately also with our evolution as a species where oftentimes instead of respond to these very positive events it's the negative ones that are more sticky and the reason that is is of course that positive stuff doesn't kill you in uh the on the savannah in africa 200,000 years ago we're basically we lived as a species and our dna has not changed is it's a negative event potentially resulting in loss of life or limb so when negative events occur or you have those lessons, um, they are much more sticky to you because it means life and death. And on an intuitive, deep level, uh, this is uh, what happens. Uh, and unfortunately, it can also be negative emotional content, what people have said to you about what you can and cannot do. Um, situations where perhaps falsely, uh, we created a narrative in our head uh, that uh, was negative and it has stuck to us. And <clears throat> learning the power of what those negative uh, emotional states or that emotional content can have on your physiology in some ways can make you self-aware of these biases and give you tools that allow you to overcome them. And I call them brain bugs, these evolutionary brain bugs that exist with us <clears throat> based on our evolution on the savannah in Africa, but in the modern world, they're not helpful. And it's how do you overcome these brain bugs <clears throat> and, if you will, use our evolution and uh, the biases and the different aspects of it to help yourself and to reach your full potential as a human being.